in this video I'm going to show you how we are going to attach these um, horizontal support bars uh, using the uh, 10 foot uni strut or super strut so this is an uncut 10 foot piece of the uni strut or super strut and um, we are going to use these L brackets like this so this side of the bracket is going to go to the vertical column and these two holes here I'm actually going to attach just one screw on the one of the hole which is the first one here is going to attach to the uh, horizontal bracket I mean not bracket uh, unistrut and uh, we're going to be using um, not these these are um, half inch spring nuts we're gonna be using 3 8 inch I think spring nuts um, these are not tight yet but uh, you can see there okay actually on this side I'm gonna be using half inch but over here uh, since there's gonna be less stress because the gravity is actually pushing down um, this one we can use uh, 3 8 is fine but this one using half inch and uh, so you can see from there that's how it is being attached like that So that goes uh, across here and attached to this vertical column the same way using half inch here, 3 8 here and it hooks up just like that. Of course before we tighten this, this part right here, before we tighten this bolt here, we are going to tilt this. Uh, 26 degrees is my optimum tilt for my solar panel so we're gonna tilt this 26 degrees so that um, it's gonna match this angle here so that's what it looks like all right so we're gonna go step by step and um, show you how we attach it to that vertical column and that vertical column and um, uh, yep, so let's let's go do it This is the right side. I just uh, installed the half inch spring nut right here and I also put in the half inch bolt right here. This is the uh, right angle um, Bracket I guess and uh, so it's not 100% tight, but friction-wise, it's uh, already pretty tight. Um, <clears throat> so this is just one side of it, and we're going to do the other side next. Okay, so this is what the uh, components look like. This is the half-inch bolt. This is the spring nut, and the spring nut goes in like this and you push it in and you twist and uh, be careful is uh, just like the description says it's a spring so you see that it just slipped out so let me try it again okay and it's supposed to hug the rail just like that now you notice that this rail here is kind of expanded that's because I when I put on when I put in this uh, vertical column I, I took a hammer and I kind of uh, knock it in this way so this is kind of expanded but it still is able to provide enough grip so I'm not gonna worry about it um, and then the next one is the uh, angle bracket and the screw is gonna go right in I'm not gonna use any washer because 
as you can see it fills the screw uh, the hole is, is filled by the head of the bolt um, quite nicely so we don't have any problem there and we're just going to screw it in I think this is a one inch uh, length bolt just in case you're wondering okay so I'm not sure exactly what is the height yet so I'm just going to approximate that this is the height and this is the angle and I'm just going to tighten up a little bit just to put it in there because the next thing we're gonna do is is put the uh, horizontal beam and when we put the horizontal beam is when we're going to actually level it and adjust the angle at that time okay so I got the beam put on and it fits snugly um, it doesn't have any bolt yet but it fits so snugly that it doesn't actually even move so that's good um, so the next thing we're gonna do is going to put a bolt through here I'm just going to put bolt on one of the hole not both because we don't need that much strength and um, actually this is a 3 8 bolt um, I think it's about an inch and an inch, probably an inch and a quarter I'm not sure we actually not gonna need to use the the spring nut we're just gonna use a regular nut like this so we're just gonna use a regular nut like this instead of a spring nut because the nut just gonna go underneath here but we are going to use two washers okay so we're just gonna go basically bolt washer and then at the bottom we're gonna have washer and then bolt from the bottom I'm going to put on I'm gonna install the bolt but not tighten it on both sides and then I'm gonna take a uh, my level and then make sure it's leveled and angled properly before I fully tighten it once I tighten these um, I can then tighten also the um, the bolt underneath there uh, which is that piece right there uh, on both sides okay the light is getting kind of low here but I just want to show you that I have the uh, level uh, on the existing horizontal piece going all the way down and just want to make sure that uh, again the level is very good before we actually tighten this bolt right here to make sure that the vertical height is perfectly good okay since we already tightened this one we go ahead and we can go ahead and tighten this one right here I use a monkey wrench at the bottom to hold the uh, the bolt I mean the nut and then I'm gonna screw the bolt tight on the top okay. that should be good okay the uh, the light is really getting really dark here but I just basically did the same thing on this side uh, I knock on this bolt until it's perfectly level as you can see there the level is perfectly level and um, so I'm ready to uh, tighten this bolt and this bolt together well thank you for watching um, just want to show you how we uh, install the horizontal bar like right here make sure the key here is to make sure that it's level because as you grow your sections longer and longer you want to make sure they're all going to be nicely even and level so that you don't have wave on your sections thank you for watching um, i hope you find this video useful if you do please uh, click on the subscribe button and share this video to whoever you feel that can benefit from this video um, and again thank you for watching thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you